Hello Stratomatic fans, yes it is Hayes and I'm here to help you start your first ever Stratomatic team online. It's baseball season, we're in the middle of COVID-19, it's the end of April 2020 and many of you like me missing baseball greatly. You know you can get out your old baseball cards, go through them, check them out, look at the backs like you used to, but it's not the same as the game. You can baker out your old Stratomatic cards or buy some new ones, but a lot of times, unless you want to play all by yourself, which many of us do, you should find a friend. It helps. Stratomatic Online is a way to still have the fun of Stratomatic. Um, you don't get a lot of the in-game decision-making that you do with the cards and dice, uh, but the games are all played for you every night. You wake up in the morning, and uh, whenever you get back from work, whenever you have a few moments, you can take a look and see how your teams did. Um, that can take three minutes, it could take three hours, depending on how much fun you want to have with it, how much you want to get into the stats, you want to make changes with your teams, how many teams you have. So, let's go to Stratomatic here. Stratomatic365.com is what we're looking for. Here's my front office, and... Uh, once you get your account created, it shouldn't take too long. Typical team, one team costs you 20 bucks, gives you approximately 10 weeks worth of fun. So what I'm going to do now is go to community and league directory before I even another team because I want to choose which league I'm going to go into before I start my team. Uh, when you get to the league directory page you'll see that there are open leagues and then all the way down here are private leagues. I've been playing for several years I've never even been in the private league so uh, I don't use those but if and when you start meeting friends online and want to play online you can create these private leagues but I play mainly just these open leagues. Uh, so you can create your own leagues if you want and invite people to join. Or you can just join automatically created leagues as you see here. All right. Uh, besides the team name, it's going to have the set of choose, the level, who created it, whether or not there's a DH rule, is there going to be waivers, the salary cap. It's very, very important. I have not done any live drafts. Uh, perhaps you have more time than me. You can get involved in those, I'm sure. And this over here is very important when I start my team, number of teams and max, because usually if I'm starting a new team, I want it to start yesterday or tomorrow as soon as possible. I don't want to wait weeks or months. So, for instance, here you see this league here. There's only one of the 24 teams in now. That's a live draft, so probably not the best example. Um, this auto league here, it's already half full. So might, that might be one I want to choose. But also important is what set are we using? You want to play 82, 99, 86, 2007. I'm a big fan of the Mystery Leagues. The Mystery Leagues, you don't know which card you have from a player from the decade. It could be a great card. It could be a horrible card. It could be a year where they got injured and didn't play a lot. And they'll get injured for you probably too then. So uh, the Mystery Set creates that extra element of you're not exactly sure how your guy's going to perform and it requires you to make more uh, in-season adjustments, which um, I find to be uh, one of the uh, more fun parts of the game. So I'm going to go down here, and uh, the Mystery Leagues are the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So I'm just looking here, starting at the 60s, 8 out of 12 teams here in Auto League 446958. All right, 8 out of 12, that is the most full. Now down here we have 9 out of 12, that's even more full. It's an all-time great set. And uh, for those of you new to Strato, 80 million is your regular salary cap. All right, I've played less, I've played more. Down here, you see this salary cap here, $235 million. That's going to be a bunch of loaded stud teams. That can be fun too. All right, you basically can have all Hall of Famers in your lineup. Um, but I'm going to stick to the... Um, basic $80 million, um, and I'm going to go back up here to this 60s standard. Standard advance just means how 
well, you know the game of Stratomatic Baseball. All right, I play both standard and advanced. I don't care either one. Um, uh, but as you play more and more Strato online, uh, you will learn the difference between those. And there's not much in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to create a team. No DH, understanding this is very important too. And I'm going to go for the 60s. So I'm going to go back up to the top here, my account, start my team. And uh, there's football also. I've done a little bit of that. That's a later video. So um, I'm going to hit start my 365 team. One baseball credit. Um, location, nickname, and manager name is the first thing you start. Um, I'm just going to uh, make it pretty simple here. I'm going to go with oh, the William Penn Circle. I can throw all the bowling pin in. So I can learn to type. Oh, it doesn't all fit. So how about this? We'll go Quaker. Heights. Uh, Goliaths. Oh no, how about this? Like tigers named after the three-legged dog that used to terrorize my neighborhood growing up. Manage your name. Uh, let's just, just go here with, uh, uh, let's see here, call it stretch. Come back to manager. All right, so we got our location, name, manager. Choose your player set. Here's all your choices. You can go through and uh, pick all, eh, through any of these. I'm going Superstar 60s. These are the mystery sets, as you can see. Start my team. All right. Um, auto draft or live draft. I've never live drafted. Um, I just, frankly, with a wife and kids, don't have the time. Maybe in the summer, even though COVID's giving me a little extra time. But I spend a lot of that time, of course, playing disc golf. Get outside and exercise. All right. Here's your choices. We know that we're going to go through the $80 million submit draft settings. Now I've got to pick my players. 24 to 28 players need to be picked. You have to keep under the $80 million salary cap. All right. Once we do that, we'll rank them. All right. 1, 2, 24, 25, 26, 28, how many you pick. All right. The draft is done automatically. All right. Um, so one team will be, will be selected to go first. If they pick Mickey Mantle, number one. If they're first, they get Mickey Mantle. If you pick second and you have Mickey Mantle as your number one pick, you're not going to get the Mick. Sorry. They will give you the next best center fielder. All right? So it's important to rank the guys you want higher to the top. But if you don't get the guy you want, they're going to substitute all right, the next highest paid player at that position. So uh, as you play more and more, you'll learn uh, uh, different strategies for ranking your players. I Typically, when I start, I rank the guys I want the most, and they're usually the most expensive players as well. After you rank them, you'll choose your home ballpark, and then we'll select that auto league, assuming it's not filled up yet. So we hit go draft, and now uh, this is the fun part. I'm going to do it real quick. Uh, sometimes I'll spend a half hour or an hour on this part, depending on how much time I have, because you can get, go through um, all the players, check out their cards, just like you would if you had the actual uh, cards and dice in your hand. Um, let's go ahead and start with our pitchers. Um, with $80 million, uh, a lot of players will typically spend about 30 on pitching and about $50 million on hitting. Okay, You can do whatever you want. Though. You can spend 40 on each. All right? You can spend more on pitching than hitting. But that is strictly up to you. Remember, uh, we chose the 60s. And remember, there is no DH here. If there is a DH, sometimes I will... Uh, uh, start out with getting a, a somebody who's very well against righties first, and somebody who's very against against lefties uh, uh, second. Or my first two picks will be uh, guys really that I'm going to platoon at that DH position. But with uh, no DH, I'm going to go straight to pitchers. And uh, now this will give me all the starters and relievers. I'm going to go straight to starters. And you can see here that in the 60s, Kofax is $10 million. All right, you need... Uh, Ten pitchers, I believe, is the minimum. All right, so if you're gonna if you're gonna stick to the thirty million dollars or so for pitchers, and you 
want to go with Kofax, Gibson, Perry, and Drysdale as your rotation there, you're going to be well over budget for your pitchers and not even have uh, a bullpen yet. Um, so, but again, whoever you choose, if you don't get with your pick, they will give you the one right below it. Um, I've been um, uh, toying around with an idea of uh, going it with a very uh, left-handed heavy uh, rotate uh, staff. Um, sometimes you can go all righties, all lefties. You can mix it up. But after the draft, there'll be time for you to make free agent pickups, waiver pickups. So if you don't get the guys you want, you can uh, change your guys in and out, staying under the salary cap before the season starts. All right. I'm going to start my uh, uh, team, hopefully, with, uh, let's see here, if we're going to go lefty, um, I can just go up here and hit this. Uh, here's another way to search, too. I get rid of all the right-handers and hit search. Uh, very important, you know the asterisks if you're playing, if you played Stratomatic before, that means that you can pitch once every four days, no asterisks once every five days. The R number you should know if you played Stratomatic before is that pitcher can also relieve. I'm gonna start with Steve Carlton. Now I'm just gonna grab Tommy John and Whitey Ford. And again, if you want to go look at these guys more in depth, you can, but all the stats are right up here. But like here, here's the Whitey Ford card, for instance. All right. So as I said, this is a mystery set. So if you get Whitey Ford on your team, you will have one of these five seasons of Whitey Ford. The 1961 season, he went 25 and four. That's pretty nice. All right. I like that. All right. So Whitey has a bunch of good seasons here. Um, you know, if you get if you get his 65 card, uh, you know he's very good against righties. All right. However, against lefties, uh, not so good. That 5-9 home run, 6-8 home run, ballpark effect. And remember that is the hashtag there, that number symbol. Um, so uh, I do like this Whitey Ford card though uh, a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hopefully get Whitey on my team here. I really like this 5-7 for Whitey for ground ball, second base A. All right, not X, A. You know that's a good thing. All right, so we'll go with Whitey. And maybe I'll throw in one right-hander uh, to my rotation. So I go back up here and reactivate the righties. And uh, I can pick, oh, ooh, my friend Bob, friend from the Pirates. Should I, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, let's go Bobby friend. No, well, the pitchers do hit here, so maybe I'll choose a pitcher with a little more hitting ability. Oh, Mel Stottlemyre, he can go nine too, so we'll go with Mel. So what I can do now is go back up. I know that I chose four pitchers already, but if you want to check what you picked, go to your draft list, and here you go. So far, uh, we've got Mel and Steve and Tommy and Whitey as my four choices. You can see that I've used about 17 million of my cash. So um, uh, now uh, I need at least five pitchers who can start, four who can relieve, and three pure relievers. So I'm going to do my pure relievers next. Position, relief pitchers only, and I'm just going to price descending. So, um, you know, do I want to spend the uh, Hoyt Wilhelm money, $5.76 million? I do not. I'm going to try to uh, throw a few good relievers against the wall, and hopefully I pick up some good seasons from them again. But uh, you don't know it's a mystery which season you're going to get. So you might get a great one, you might not. Um, I'm going to go with Ron Paranowski. I'll go again lefty heavy with my reliever. 